Hi, in this tutorial we're going to talk about editing terrain. Let's start with an empty world. We'll go into the load world menu and somewhere in here is empty world. Start that and hit escape to get into the editor. Now as you can see there's absolutely nothing here so first thing we're going to do is we're going to add some terrain. This brush down at the bottom is what we use to add terrain. Notice as soon as I click it we get a big square and I can use the left mouse button to start painting ground. So we can paint. That's painting with the left mouse button. With the right mouse button we're actually deleting. So we can add and delete terrain. Now some of the options we have. Over here is a submenu off of this brush. When we click on that we're given a whole selection of different types of terrain blocks that we can use. Here's one that I like. It gives you a nice grassy look. Now if you notice right now, as I'm painting, I'm adding new terrain, but I'm also painting over the old one. If you look up here at the help overlay, you'll see that you can do a couple of options. First of all, if you hold down the control key when you paint, it doesn't actually change anything that's already there. And if you hold down the shift key when you paint, it only changes what is there and doesn't add any new terrain. Those are always available for you to read up here, so you don't have to remember them. I just want you to know that they're available there for you. Another option that you have, in addition to being able to choose new materials, is you can choose the shape of the brush. I've been painting with the square brush. You can also pick a round brush to paint with. One thing here, you can use the left and right arrow keys to increase the size of your brush or make it smaller. Another interesting brush option are the stretch brushes. These allow you to click and hold and drag and then when you let go it paints a whole stripe at a time. These are really nice for making long straight stretches of terrain you know especially if you're doing like a side scroll or some game like that. Often you're wanting to use a collection of different materials to give a certain feel and it's kind of a bother to keep having to go back and pick those materials back out of the menu over and over and over again. So what we have is a shortcut. If you hold the Alt key down, notice that the brush goes from being the flashing brush to a little cone cursor. And with that, I can pick that material. So now if I click on this red and blue material, that becomes the material I'm painting with. Now if I click on the psychedelic blue one, that becomes the material. And here I can click on the grass look and that becomes my current material. So that very quickly allows you to change the material that you're painting terrain with. Next thing about terrain is hills. So we go to the next tool over and the one that looks like a hill being raised and let me go ahead and pick one of the soft round brushes. This allows you to as I'm holding the left mouse button down, it's raising the train up into a hill. So you can see that I'm creating a hill. Now if I use the right mouse button, it lowers it back down. And if I use the middle mouse, it smooths it out, kind of averages blended and takes away all the jaggies. Now here again, if you don't have a middle mouse, don't worry because the next tool over actually assigns the smooth terrain tool to the left mouse button so you can always find it on either the left or right mouse. The middle mouse is just, if you happen to have it, it'll make it easier for you. The one other thing I want to show you is this brush. This is the magic brush. When you click this brush, it selects a whole region at once. Basically, it fills out to the edges of whatever that material is. So with this, I can raise that whole section that's green or lower it at the same time. Now what's really fun is once you select an area like this, just by having the mouse over it, you're not doing anything, if you use the left and right arrow keys, what that does, that shrinks the region. So now when I lower the, set, the center part, it leaves a nice wall around. So that very quickly allows you to build an area, raise it up, select the center, and either raise it further or lower it to build walls and raised areas. So anyway, that's terrain building. Have fun.